An Introduction to Computer Class and Keyboarding. Here are some tips to help you be successful in computer class. You should save your work often. Keep food and liquids away from the computer. Close all applications and documents before shutting down. And thanks for leaving the computer the way you found it when you leave. Here's what a typical student workstation looks like. Here's the keyboard you'll be using. Your mouse. You might also have this kind of mouse with the right click button. If you want to hear the sound on your computer, you will need to put on your headphones. And if you're recording audio, you might use a USB microphone. Another piece of equipment you'll need to know about is our printer. It's located near the front of the room by the teacher's desk. While working on your computer, be sure to sit up nice and straight with your elbows close to your sides and close enough to your keyboard where you're not having to extend your arms. Your feet should be flat on the floor with one slightly in front of the other. While working, you should be able to quickly glance back and forth between your monitor and your keyboard. The two most important aspects of mastering keyboarding are good posture, and using the correct fingers on the right keys on your keyboard. If you're using a Macintosh computer, your keyboard will look something like this. Notice the colors on the keys and the hands below that show which fingers are supposed to type which keys on the keyboard. The pinkies control five very important function keys. Those keys are tab, caps lock, Shift, Delete, and Return. The thumbs control the space bar. You'll use your left pinky to type the Q, the A, and the Z in addition to the number one. You'll use your left ring finger to type the W, S, X, and the number two. You'll use your left middle finger to type the letters E, D, and C, and the number three. Your left index finger is used to type the letters R, F, and V, T, G, and B, along with the numbers 4 and 5. The right index finger is used to type Y, H, N, U, J, and M, along with the numbers 6 and 7. The right middle finger would be used to type I, K, comma, and the number 8. Your left ring finger will be used to type O, L, and period, along with the number 9. Your right pinky will be used to type the P, semicolon, slash, and the number 0. While not typing, your finger should be resting on the home keys, as you see here. Here's another color-coded keyboard with the home keys outlined in yellow. The home keys are A, S, D, F for the left hand, and J, K, L, and semicolon for the right hand. A good trick to find the home keys without looking at the keyboard is to feel for the raised dots on the F key and the J key. Your left index finger should feel for the dot on the F key and your right index finger should feel for the dot on the J key. You should try not to look at your hands while typing. A good way to get faster and type more accurately is to practice. One of the programs we'll use in class is called Type to Learn 3 by Sunburst Technology. And the other program we'll use quite often is Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing. Along with using those programs to practice our typing skills, you might want to try typing this sentence to warm up before beginning to type a document. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dogs. 
This sentence contains all the letters of the alphabet and will help your fingers get warmed up for typing. So remember, practice, have good posture, use the correct fingers on the right keys, and don't look at your hands.